We're trying to find a volunteer who'd be willing to keep their garbage for three months. Do you think you'd be interested in doing that? No. It's gonna start to sink. Oh man. Then it hit me. There stood my good and supportive friend Glenn and his dream team garbage family. I'm not doing it. We'll do it. We found our garbage people. I'm not doing it. They're ready to prepare their garage for its new purpose. I think we're gonna have about 12 to 15 of these big black bags. I, I'm saying closer to 30. I say 50. You're wrong. Everyone wants to know about the smell. Smell is a big issue. Oh, look at that. Come here. Look at this, Michelle. It smells really bad. Goodbye, Jeep. <laughs> Hello, hybrid. I'm riding around the subdivision just like a hamster. I can't go down the road. It's too dangerous. It stinks. And it's a shame because they can do something about it. All the trees, all the hills you see in the distance here are already on a permit to be destroyed. You have no idea what you're looking at. I wonder how much power a computer consumes. Think about that when you flip that switch on the wall. Did you bring your garbage home today, Esther? Oh, you carry it in your pants? Stack bones and bags of tea. I hope this revolution will spread and homes throughout the world will wage war against the pollution all around them. Glenn has actually given up putting the garbage out. Glenn does none of it. She's lying. <laughs>